Well, <laughs> we got the LA Rams this Sunday night, prime time. Not like the Eagles really needed another primetime game, but hell, why not? Let's just add another. So, things have kind of gone south, and we've already known this this whole year. Carson Wentz has looked nothing but average, but because of his related back vertebrae fracture and this whole coaching staff not doing what they're doing with this offense, this whole coaching staff not doing with their defense, and between all these damn injuries, it's just been a really horrible year. The Rams are a tough team. I'm not expecting much from this Eagles team, but a fight. And if it's a fight that I want, it's a fight that they're going to get. And as long as they fucking try and they fight hard, that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters. Carson Wentz is going to be out. Nick Foles is going to be in. Our Super Bowl quarterback, Nick Foles, will be in this game. What I'm guessing this game plan is going to be with this offense is Nick's going to throw the ball a lot. Um, it's going to be an RP. It's going to be RPOs everywhere, and hopefully these RPOs will help um, lure these linebackers away, get these wide receivers open, and do some things. Um, we're going to see Josh Adams in the backfield as usual. We're going to see the newest addition to the Eagles, Boston Scott, that came from the New Orleans Saints practice squad that had a pretty good preseason this year. So I'm kind of excited to see what he could do. Um, Avante Maddox has a good chance to come back. Jordan Hicks is not coming back. Um, uh, Timmy Jernigan probably isn't coming back either. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So, I mean... Look, I'm, I gotta be try to be positive about this game, but um, the Bears, you know, beat the Rams, shut down Todd Gurley. Did a great. This defense did absolutely amazing, but um, I know the the Eagles aren't gonna do this on defense. Like I said, the rest of the way it's gonna be an offensive game, and I just honestly at this point, I just want to see them try. I want to see them fight, and that's all that matters. They if they give a fight to the Rams, that's all that matters to me. As long as they go out swinging. And don't and, and and can't stay down. That's all that matters to me because right now, um, you know, with this, these offenses are looking at our secondary right now, saying, "Man, this is going to be an easy task." Um, and it, it has been. It has been. Um, you know, you got a practice squad secondary, which still no one understands. A lot of people from other team rival teams or no one understands that. That's that bad. And it is bad. It's not like last year. Okay, one guy go, a few guys go down, but at different positions. You got your two starting corners down. You got pretty much another corner of Vontae Max down, but he plays safety. But it's just been an absolute mess. But what I'm expecting is a fight from this team. Some heart, being pissed off they lost against Dallas Cowboys, and going into this game pretty pissed off. And I'm sure the Rams are pretty pissed themselves. Saw the Rams injury report, and they don't have any injuries. Cooper Cup, I think, is the only injury that he's been out for the whole year. I think I think he's out for the year. I haven't seen him. Um, we had that ACL injury, I think. Other than that, they're healthy as hell. The Rams defensive line is one of the best in the league. Aaron Donald is the best defensive tackle in the league. Dominican Sue has been a great addition for the Rams as well. The offensive line has a little bit something on their hands because you know what? As much as uh, even if Carson was in this game, how much how much of a mobile sacrifice is he really going to be? Nick Foles ain't going to you know extend plays with his feet. I mean, to a certain e extent he can, but um, all it takes is one. If you do not block Aaron Donald for a slight second, man, you are in fucking you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Um, that's really the only thing that scares me with the Rams is their defense, their defensive line. Their, their, their secondary is not the best in the world. All these high-powered offenses in the NFC don't have great defenses. All of them don't. Um, you know, so um, the defense for the Rams, I'm not scared of. The offense, I am. Todd Gurley, um, you know, you, you've got a whole bunch of dudes. <laughs> and Goff has been pretty good. Offensive line is pretty damn good. Uh, doing the right thing. So, you know, to win this game, get a hand on Jared Goff. Stop that run game for Todd Gurley. I mean, the Bears did a nice job on him last time. They completely shut 
Todd Gurley down. Um, but that's not going to be the case with this team. It's got to be an offensive. If the offense goes three and out, we're probably automatically going to be down seven points. I mean, that's just a realistic value of it. Um, I don't want to think that. I want to think that they're going to play better, but you can't. You got to be realistic. You got to be a realist with this defense. This defense is just not doing it. We got no depth on the D line right now. Our our secondary is just is just you can't do it. The rest of the year, I'm just going to say the same thing. The, the secondary is so atrocious right now. You got practice squad guys starting at, at the corner spot. So, you know, I could be bitching about this whole thing, but we have to go in there and, and, and show them that, you know, Nick, Nick Foles is the guy, man. Nick Foles came into this game last year against the Rams, week 13, 14, whatever it was, after Carson got hurt and finished a nice game for us. Nick Foles got to finish that job tonight. Well, he already finished it by winning the Super Bowl last year. But I'm saying he's got to go in there. And I know Nick is strong inside his mind. I think Nick will be smarter. I think these RPOs could work. Um, that's what the good value about Nick Foles is. He's good with the RPOs. He's so used to it. And he's just, he's got great eyes. And I'm hoping that he can look for some receivers that are open. And these receivers better get the fuck open. And uh, that's really all I got to say about it. We go in swinging. And we don't fall down. You get, you fall on the ground, you get back up, and you swing again. That's how this this Eagles team is going to be Sunday night. Do I wish this game was on prime time? No, because we don't need to be seen by the whole fucking world again. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but, you know, do I think we're going to win? I don't think so. But I want to. But from how we're looking right now, one of the, this is one of the best teams in the league. This is a Super Bowl contending team right now that you're facing. So we'll see what happens. But let me know in the comment section how you feel about this game and uh, how we're, how you think about how Nick Foles is going to do and you know what's going to be the main. I mean, we can't even say what's the what, how we're the main thing and how we're going to win because you know Mike Rowe and Doug Pearson. Doug Pearson calling stupid plays and Mike Rowe just shuffling these guys around like they're like they he doesn't know still doesn't know how to use this goddamn offense anyway. So. Sometimes us fans make more sense than what they're teaching their fucking players and what, what to do and how to use people. I mean, we're watching it and we could fucking see it. You know what I mean? So um, that's about it, guys. So nothing much. So in Foles we trust and, and that's it. So I'm excited to see Nick Foles play and, and that's it. So see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly goes fly.